so we are not sure that we will come back to Ubud again. <laughs> but it was amazing to stay here. Seriously, people are very nice and we had a great time in Ubud. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. Hati hati, be careful. Thank you. And now we move with our boy. Hi guys, welcome back to their second episode. So we left Archie Lord and headed to explore other areas up to the north. It was incredible staying in Ubud at Adif place for a couple of nights. And we already feels like we are at home. It is crazy. And we are going to see the rice field called Tegalalang for the first place because it's the same way to get up north by our touring bike. At the time we arrived, the guy immediately oh ran to sell us a ticket. We were thinking that this was a scam or something. Ticket? Yeah, ticket for Lalalang. Uh, where? This way. 10,000 one person. For parking free. Oh, 10,000, right? Yeah, 10,000. Okay. What is it for? Is it to en enter the rice field? Press teras, the Galalang, rice field. Okay. For okay, okay. This is for government. Okay. okay, okay, I got it. But after all, the price correct. It was about 10,000 rupiah, or around less than a dollar to get in there. So the last thing is, this ticket supports to allow us to get inside. And yes, it actually worked. Well, it looks a little bit fake by the vibe. There's a lot of landmark for tourists to take a photos that they make it up on purpose. It doesn't look like as we expect, but we were happy to see it anyway. Yeah, that boy not really happy. Take a la lan, one of the famous rides feel that became like a checkpoint for a lot of travelers. We are so excited to see how beautiful it is. We were so amazing by the rice tourists. And now we are heading to the famous temple, Puratita Empu. We were quite hungry and want to try some local food. So we stopped by some local restaurant on the way. And it was incredible. So that is what we got some kind of like soup noodles with chicken and some kind of like herbs and let's play sticky rice but of Very course nice not you should be on. You should be yeah put it so anyway it tastes really good we don't really know what it is but yeah hopefully we're gonna be fine <laughs> but good not so far from the restaurant and now we arrive at a temple. It's quite big and very beautiful by the art of Balinese architecture. There's a pool filled with the holy water where locals always come to take a blessing bath. Moreover, they allow travelers to do it as well but they have to rent a proper club to respect the place. One locker and two person. 35, right? Uh, from Thailand. I have the most. Thank you. It was so good to try. 
Even we don't really know how to pray properly in the way of Balinese. So we have done it in our own way. Temple always the place where you can find peace. It's like reset your mind to be enlightened and move on. Another thing is we were so lucky because we wish it at the day they have a big important ceremony. That only happened once in a year and the point of this ceremony is about paying respect to the nature spirit. It is so amazing to see a real event from the local people. something very impressive. You had to know that the human being is amazing or amazingly stupid because once, one day a man decided to just, I'm gonna tell you later. But ladies and gentlemen, this moment is very, very important. Yeah, look at that timing. So listen to me. So this little animal once decided to eat some coffee and to pull. One day, a man, a very crazy man, <laughs> decided to add me while walking in the middle of the jungle, found this poop, and decided to explore the poop and to say, oh, what is it gonna be inside? What an amazing thing. <laughs> so, no, wait. Yeah, the poop of this animal, and while exploring, he realized that inside the poop there was some coffee were some coffee beans. Oh, what an amazing thing. Like one day I wake up <laughs> and I decide to explore poop. <laughs> and since that day he realized the coffee was amazing. Why shouldn't we use the poop of this animal to, to make coffee? <laughs> That's the place we are today. Thanks for a very yeah. good information. Yeah, you're welcome, you're welcome. This is a spider web. We have a lot, we have a lot of wild animals in these plantations <laughs> like spiders and ants, so wild. This place is so wild, guys. You are not ready for that. <laughs> so coffee processing, just right, follow babe. me. Oh, look at this. Tropical papaya. And look, there are full of people nails. <laughs> Let, let, let's go explore a little bit more. Toilet and exit. 
I'm giving a tour, okay? <laughs> he was like, oh, security! <laughs> All right. After such an impressive tour with Simona, now we are at the coffee shop, where you can try a bunch of coffee that come from Luok, or in English called Civet Coffee. It is a coffee that consists of partially digested coffee cherry, which have been eaten and defecated by the Asian palm, Civet. The cherries are fermented as they pass through our Civet intestines, and after being defecated with other fecal matter, they're collect to put in the coffee production. And now it's time to try these poop coffee. Yankuro is our local guide today. He was giving us some interesting detail about the plantation that became one of the local product for Indonesia. But it is not gonna be so easy for him to handle a great questioner like Simona, who imported from Espresso Motherland. Italy. Vada, prendevo un caffè. And you grow, uh, you grow this coffee in here. Uh -huh. All these kind of coffees, do you grow them in here? Yes. Okay. Wow, amazing. I have so many questions that I was already not. This is this one, yeah, right? Bali coffee. And then this is the ginger. This is rosella flower. Safran and curcuma. That's for immune system. The skin of the mangosteen. Vanilla coffee. And the last one is the hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. Some of them are, co are coffee, right? Like coffee, coffee, uh -huh. coffee. And what about the others? Is it tea? Like infusion. Ah, infusion. Yeah, no, no tea leaf on it. Okay. Yeah, so like we made from the grass, we made from the flowers, from the roots. Okay. You always grow in this plantation, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Which one would you recommend to, to start uh, the tea with? First. Tea first. Tea first, right? Some maybe lemon grass tea. Lemongrass tea, yes. which is like normally pretty like normal. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, no, no. This is very sweet as well. Can I ask you a question? Your name is Yankuro. Yankuro. Can I ask you a question? Yes. Uh, I mean, the story of this wild animal uh -huh. eating coffee beans and pooping. Uh -huh. How could a human being one day just waking up and saying, Oh, look, there's some poop in the floor. I'm gonna look inside. Oh, maybe there's some coffee. Why shouldn't I try to make coffee from them? I mean, this idea is just like crazy and amazing at the same time. <laughs> because if you see some poop, you're not gonna look in there. You're yes, not yes. gonna explore. So what happened? So, uh... Like the grandma said, so when like long, I think this coffee exists more than a hundred years ago, mm -hmm. and because our people is very addicted with the coffee, in the in the in the tree have the ripe coffee bean, and when the people want to harvest it, so always gone. Okay. Yeah, because the animal ate it. So the farmer found like this on the ground, and it is a coffee. Oh, it's so they they use the that. Long time ago, they killed this animal because mm. they stole the coffee. Mm. Okay. So, so on that time, the the people start like drink this coffee. They they still wondering why why this uh, this coffee eaten by this animal and the taste is much better comparing with the the regular okay. coffee. Mm. This coffee exists. I mean, fam very popular after uh, people make a research. Okay. Mm. So why the, the coffee mm. is uh, the taste better, better, yeah, com better. Uh, after yeah, this yeah. animal eat. So they, they found this animal they uh, have a special loose. So they eat only the good quality coffee. Okay. Mm. So the very picky so animal. Like very picky like animal. Mm. So they, they eat only the ripe coffee beans. And then uh, in the stomach of the animal have a special uh, enzyme. So because of fermentation that make the coffee very low in caffeine. Alright, that's very interesting. Yeah. Thank you, Yankuro, okay. for telling us. Thanks, Yankuro, for an interesting explanation about the coffee. I think a lot of people might have the same question about this as well. And now it makes sense by his answer. We've tried many kind of coffee and tea that made from Sevat today. And it is very interesting by the story. 
After all, we decided to head back to Ubud. Because it's not too far. Also a good area to grab some food and find a place to stay. Well guys, for the next episode, we will head to the north and explore some interesting place up there. Then straight to the south. If you like our videos, please subscribe our channel and put the bells on. Thanks for watching and stay tuned everyone.